This is Jason Smiles, and I'm here in Persephone, New Jersey. Should you use the French opening while in France? Is it safe to use the fried liver attack while hungry? These are things we're going to find out today, and a whole lot more. A lot of these amateurs, they play like you know, garbage openings, because mm. it helps them beat like uh, you know, some lower rated players who don't know the tricks. But right. if you're trying to be really good, you have to right away learn real, real hardcore openings. You want to play the Sicilian defense, you want to play E4, E5, French defense, Karakhan, so many choices. What do you play now? I find myself hungry. I, I want to go towards the fried liver defense. Uh, okay. But it's actually an attack. Fried liver attack. And yes, I, I, it's kind of like an amateur's trick where you're just trying to swindle your opponent. Fried liver? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's a decent opening with a stupid name, but there's several like that. Grand Prix attack. Halloween gambit. Scotch gambit. Martial attack. Elephant defense. Dragon structures. Schleiman defense. What do you think about the crocodile opening? The crocodile? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> French. Uh, I'm French? moving to France, so I figured that I would you know, study the up French on the defense. French opening. Or, you know. Tell me a little bit about the French opening. Je parle beaucoup de français. Tu parles beaucoup de français? Je parle beaucoup. Ah. You can play uh, as much French as you want, just avoid the English. Avoid the English? Yeah. I'm going for the London system, which I got some negative feedback on, but I won my first game, so. Uh, the London. The London. The London. The very lazy, good. the lazy man or woman's chess opening. Ah, very yes. good, very good. <laughs> Probably gonna want to hit him with a Sicilian. Mmm, come up from the south. I'm somewhat very lazy, um, so this might be the perfect fit for you. It could be a good fit. There's the Fisher Sozin opening. There's like Bob Vinick. Do you have a favorite opening of yours, or you? probably the Bank of Gambit with black? Just because it's a cool opening to play and. Not a lot of people know it. I used to have a really good record with it until I started playing strong players. <laughs> <laughs> the highest rated player I ever beat was like 2300, and I beat him with his best more gambit. Took him by surprise. I guess that's a, it's a good surprise opening, and I'm really good at it. I tend to get bored very easily, so sometimes I change my openings around. But this uh, Knight or Sicilian is one of the few openings that I've played very consistently. If you're just beginning, mm -hmm. I, I would you know go with E4 and E5 as, as black, you know. Start off opening towards the center. Most important thing to do is to learn the ideas of the opening. The first thing I would recommend is to like analyze your own style. Play what all the top players play. Classics. That's what you want to do. Forget about the openings and focus on understanding chess. And then when you have some understanding, you can look at a couple of opening books. <laughs> Forget this one. <laughs> Gone. This one. These two, these two survive. We're just starting off round two here. So many openings. Dragon, Gambit, Alligator Shuffle, Fried Liver. I don't know what to do. You're playing the London. Whew. Hopefully I'll find one that fits me. So many openings to choose from. <laughs> 